Hello, this is Sarita, and I'm here to help you understand the truth about who you are. So recently I've been getting a few downloads about plasma, and I wanted to share them with you. And I'm also going to share with you a very powerful meditation for healing yourself or manifesting something. And actually, it may be the most powerful technique um, that's come to me so far. It certainly feels very powerful. So I'm going to invite you to try it at the end of this video and see what you think. But basically, um, yeah, I've, I've been receiving this information about plasma. I just want to tell you a little bit about plasma first and then explain to you the perceptions that I've been receiving. So basically, plasma is what holds your blood and plasma is actually worth more than oil. It costs more, more than oil. And I'm beginning to wonder if a lot of the kind of ritual blood sacrifice stuff that we see within the inverted matrix satanic agenda is actually less about the blood and more about the plasma. Now, when you separate blood from plasma plasma looks like liquid gold it's absolutely an extraordinary color it's like amber color and basically what's happening in in um centers where they collect your blood is uh, people go in and they give their blood donations for free or for a very small amount of money in some parts of America. Um, I'm not sure what happens in Europe with blood donation. But basically, then the pharmaceutical companies only give 20% of that to hospitals for people who need blood transfusion. Blood transfusions, they take the other 80% and they sell it for literally millions and millions and millions um, to pharmaceutical companies who then turn the plasma into pharmaceutical drugs that obviously us humans are ingesting at a later date. And you'll see why I'm telling you this in a moment. So basically, that's what the agenda is doing with plasma. And in terms of creation and spirituality and manifesting and healing, plasma is a kind of, if you like, intelligence that when we manifest we call it forth towards us and as we call it forth into the field of our reality it becomes denser and denser and denser until it materializes into form here in this third dimensional realm so when we manifest what we're doing is we're working with plasma basically um and what i now perceive is that plasma the out there plasma within the source field, which has a different consistency to the in here plasma that holds our blood. Um, that plasma is what's creating the matter of our reality. And I'm now beginning to perceive that the plasma is the reason why humans are so sought after in terms of consciousness siphoning because we are made literally physically made of plasma and that has a direct quantum relationship or correlation with the plasma within source consciousness so it's like we are a physical incarnation of source consciousness we are creator consciousness made manifest okay so we're like god God's a tricky word to use, but we're like God or the creator in physical form. And what I'm understanding is that plasma holds the intelligence of source consciousness within it. And obviously, we're 
So, so that's how we're holding it within our bodies. And the thing with plasma is you can instruct plasma with your thoughts and your feelings, and then it materializes into form. So what I perceive that the pharmaceutical companies are doing is they're extracting plasma, injecting it with information that serves them, and then people are re- digesting it and then that new code is reinforming the plasma within the body but you don't because we are creative beings we don't need to ingest plasmic made tablets to change the code in our own bodies we can do that through our will through our thoughts and our feelings when they're in alignment with one another and i've done millions of videos on this that's how we manifest we align our thoughts and our feelings and true manifestation, true manifestation that serving one is done consciously because a lot of the stuff that we're doing is unconsciously. And obviously you can now sort of see how this agenda with plasma and tablets, which change brain chemistry and change, change the body and have desired outcomes can affect the matter-based nature of people's reality and their perceptions, not only about who they are, but what's going on in the world. And so basically plasma is the stuff that reality is made of, and it's the stuff that we're made of. Now, so plasma is working with source consciousness, basically. So what I've done is I've created a meditation that allows you to experience the plasma within your body and the plasma within your biofield and your reality. So in order to understand the meditation that I'm about to share with you, you need to understand that around your physical body is an electromagnetic field called the biofield. But this is also the morphogenic field of your body, your being and your reality. So that, that electromagnetic field basically contains all of the information pertaining to your reality. You think your reality is going on out there, but it isn't. It's actually all going on within this biofield. And that biofield is affecting the, if you like, the emanation or the projections beyond it. And it's affecting your body and your being within it. Okay. Now, it's a morphogenic field because it's constantly morphing it's constantly remaking itself in every now moment it's in perpetual motion and morphing okay and um genic just means new beginning it's it's regeneration so it's it's basically morphing regenerating in every now moment in accordance with our thoughts and feelings when they're in alignment or other people's thoughts and feelings that they're putting into us um that we may be permissioning okay so that's being in alignment because you're unconsciously permissioning it so you've got this field around you and basically plasma is 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 within that field and within your body now obviously by the time it gets to your body it's like a physical thing that's the amber nectar that beautiful golden nectar of plasma that we have in the body and when it's in the biofield you don't see it as that amber nectar but it appears as objects and stuff going on in your reality basically because it morph it more it morphs the information from source consciousness that you're connected to into materialized objects and reality okay using light frequency information and i'm sorry if this is really complicated and convoluted the way i'm explaining it but it's just quite a sort of so basically in the meditation maybe if i explain the meditation you'll understand it a bit better so in the meditation i'm going to get you to perceive the darkness and the void within your body vessel okay and the darkness and the void within source consciousness so basically that pre-creational voided state that appears like darkness or no thing or space that's all around us and within us. So that's the intelligence of the universe. It's creational intelligence, but it's kind of the intelligence pre-creation. So it holds the limitless potential of what could be. Okay. And within that space is plasma 
in a different density. And within the space of us and that field is plasma. So we've got plasma around us, plasma within us, which is the golden liquid. So what I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to feel the space, the voided pre-creational space within you, the voided pre-creational space all around you. And this is an actual thing. This is this is what reality is, okay? And then I'm going to get you to feel the biofield around you, the electromagnetic field around you, and it looks like a sphere, okay? And that holds all of the intelligence about who you are. And then I'm going to get you to feel the plasma in your body, which is like a liquid morphing thing, and the plasma of the biofield. And I'm going to get you to feel how the intelligence within source consciousness and the intelligence within you is in perpetual communication and relationship with the plasma and that the plasma is perpetually morphing into different material or matter in accordance with how you're focusing that intelligence and information. So I'm just going to get you to feel the nature of what you truly are, basically. And once you've done that, I'm going to get you to focus on something within your body or your reality within that field, that morphogenic field, that isn't serving you, that you're kind of morphing into realities in an unconscious way. So it could be like, I don't know, um, a disease in your body, a broken bone, something like that, or something that's happening in the field of your reality that you don't like. Maybe you want to, you don't like your car or you don't like a relationship with somebody or your job or something, anything. Okay. You're going to focus on one thing. And what you're going to do is you're going to observe the morphing of the plasma into matter, basically, whether that's in your body or in the field of your reality. So you're going to observe the thing. Let's say you're, when you're doing a broken, you've hurt your leg and you've got broken bone or something that's healing. So you're observing that part of your body and how the intelligence in source consciousness is communing with the intelligence of you as source consciousness and then reforming the plasma through this morphogenic perpetual motion. So you're going to watch that the bone is kind of broken or that you broke it. Um, and you're going to watch that information morphing into plasma, into reality, into matter. And then what I'm going to get you to do is using your conscious will, your imagination, so that's your, your mind, and your feelings, you're going to change it. You're going to change the way you think and feel about it. You're going to change the intelligence that's in communion between source consciousness out there and source consciousness within. And morph the plasma into a way that serves you better so that the bone is healed or the car is changed or the relationship is changed or the job is changed or whatever it is that you want to change. So you're literally going to using your will, your mind, your emotional feelings to change it. And you're going to watch as the observer, which is creator consciousness too, simultaneously, that whole morphogenic field morphing into a new genesis into a new beginning that serves you better. So that's the meditation. And obviously I've just done it. I just dropped in and channeled the meditation and it felt really powerful. And I think this is the thing is that we can do this through our will. It's, it, it, it's intense when you realize this, how much you are the creator of all of this stuff and how your connection to source consciousness and the plasma within your body can change you. And just as a side note, I would say that I think up until now, we've been using the chakra um, system as, if you like, doorways to source consciousness, to change the plasma, to reform, to remorph the plasma. And that's why it's been taught for thousands of years as, a, as an easy gateway portal to see and perceive that we can change matter through these doorways, that the doorways allow information to come in. And as you know, if, you, if you're part of my channel, I think that the chakra system has been corrupted. I think it's possible to uncorrupt it, in other words, to purify and clean these portals. But I've perceived during my work that there's been this false matrix inverted satanic 
overlay system on top of the true um, chakra system, which has corrupted it and allowed other forces, the archonic forces, to um, project in using frequencies information that then changes the plasma within our bodies and our realities to suit their agenda rather than our own. And we've been using this false matrix overlay system. And perhaps you've been on my channel or you've worked this out, you've worked, you've cleaned it and you've been using your own chakra system. Now, um, to change the plasma in the field of your reality. Now, the thing is, is that I obviously use a different um, energy center system, which is rooted in the Western tradition, which I think has not been corrupted just because that that negative agenda hasn't hasn't used it because it didn't serve them to because there were not many people using this Western energy center system. Um, so they didn't bother to corrupt it because it didn't serve their purposes. It wasn't corrupting it for enough people. Um, it wasn't allowing, you know, it wasn't worth them manipulating that. But what I would say now is we don't need any of the energy set center systems really to change plasma, to change the intelligence. We can just do it directly. And that's what this meditation is doing. It's not that I don't think the energy center system is helpful. I do. I think it's very, very helpful because it allows us to perceive our true nature as portals, um, quantum beings into source consciousness, that we are source consciousness um, on many dimensions. So I do think it's it's a good system to use, even the Eastern one, which I don't use. If it's not corrupted, I think it can be a helpful system to understand your innate nature. But we don't need it. We don't need it. We're creating consciousness and expression. And the meditation that I'm about to share with you feels instantaneous to me. So try it and let me know what you think. And um, what I'll probably do is I'm going to post this video with the meditation, but then I'll also post the meditation afterwards so that you don't have to listen to me waffling on before you do the meditation and, and practice it and see what happens to you. And I'm going to leave music at the end for a goodly length of time so that you can really feel and see and change these morphogenic fields for yourself change the plasma of your being and your reality. So I don't know. I'm hoping I'm going to get more downloads about plasma, but this is a very new, interesting route that I feel coming in now. And I'm offering you the meditation and this information, and I hope you enjoy it. And let me know what happens to you. I'm excited to see. So I'm sending you all my love and take care. Thank you for watching. Take a breath in, a breath out, and close your eyes. And feel the instant peace and tranquility of the darkness all around you. Feel how it is a blanket, a comfort, a wrap, holding you in infinite space as you turn your attention inwards. And beginning now to follow your breath, 
in the darkness, easily and sweetly, bringing your attention to the breath as it flows into your body of your body. And feel how the breath is settling you and calming you. And as you breathe in, notice that the breath flows into the infinite well of your body, also full of the darkness, that comforting infinity. Breath flows into the darkness within your body vessel. And breath flows out into the darkness all around you. Darkness within, darkness without. Feel yourself deepening more and more, more and more into the darkness and your breath. And letting the breath go now. Meditation is to take your awareness into this darkness a little further, a little deeper. And notice the qualities of this darkness darkness within, darkness all around you. Become aware of what fills the space of this darkness the void, the infinite. Can you perceive energy, motion, light or texture?
deeper and deeper you go. Allow your consciousness to sink into the depths of the darkness. You see what is there. And as your consciousness expands and deepens, notice the intelligence and information within this space. Pre-creation, pre-form, pre-matter. Feel how the darkness holds all of the intelligence of infinite potential awaiting your desire for it to become formed and known. Feel how you are the space. How you are pre-creation, how you are infinite intelligence and the observer of it. and keeping an awareness of the darkness, the space.
Allow yourself now to begin to perceive your body, your form within that space. both part of and separate from. And notice also how around your body is the electromagnetic the genic field of your existence, your reality. Allow your awareness to touch the edges of this biofield this sphere which encapsulates you. Notice its size. Its shape. its motion. And travel your awareness 360 degrees around it. Feel the sphere beneath your feet, the sphere above your head, behind you, in front, either side. The morphogenic field of you. And notice the darkness within it, the space the void of it. Notice the darkness, the space, the void all around it. Feel how the darkness of pre-creation around you is in relationship with the darkness, the space of your morphogenic field, your biofield within you. Perpetual, constant communion, communication, giving, receiving, simultaneous intelligence.
and allow yourself to perceive now also how the morphogenic biofield of your reality holds within it your personal desires, your personal consciousness, the intelligence of what makes you up. Feel this information like liquid plasma morphing and moving in response to your perception about who you believe you are Feel this morphing intelligence in the shape of you. In the geometry of your cells and organs. Feel it, defining your skin, your hair, fingernails, your knees. Every part and parcel of you perpetual in response to belief and perception. That motion of avoided intelligence responding into liquid plasma matter you. And feel this morphing plasma all around you also. Morphing to the shapes that make the room you are in. intelligence ocean responding creating becoming Feel your whole body and everything within the room you are in. 
as morphing, liquid, plasma. Connect your breath to the plasma. Notice the organs and cells of your body, the temperature in the room, the chemicals in the air, Responding as morphic liquid plasma into matter through the intelligence of your breath. Every breath you take, every thought you make, every emotion you feel, changing plasma, changing the morphogenic field of your body, your reality, changing the communion between the plasma and the void intelligence of pre-creation within your morphogenic field, around your morphogenic field. You are liquid plasma. You are intelligence. You are morphing, remaking. Beginning, creating, becoming, perpetually, you are motion, you are intelligence. And now, 
you are invited to consciously play with the plasma, the morphogenic field of your reality. Choose one aspect of your body or your reality that you wish to change. Find your way the plasmic liquid intelligence that creates this within you. Observe the plasma in motion, in creation. Observe your thought and emotion in relationship to it. Observe the intelligence in the void. in relationship to it. Notice what you are creating here. using all of your willpower, all of your conscious mind and conscious heart, your emotions, your higher intelligence, your intrinsic connection to pre-creation within the void around and within you. Change it. Instruct plasma to remake itself. to move in a new way, to form, to begin, to become.
feel all of the plasma responding and reforming in relationship to this new instruction. All of the plasma within your body, all of the plasma within the morphogenic field of your biofield, your reality. Redesigning itself. and know what it is to be pure creation. 